Welcome back to the Montreal Canadiens GM mode, franchise mode, whatever you want to call it. We are here. So, let's get started. Grab your popcorn if you actually do that. If you grab popcorn for my videos, I am honored. But, a few comments to go through here. So, Nick, EA dishing out some serious disrespect to Evans' defense. He's actually a regular on the PK and hoping they can fix it in the next roster update. They did do a roster update very recently, so maybe they did. I'm not sure. We also got another one here from Massimo, who, yeah, I missed a gem. I can't believe it, guys. I actually missed out on a gem. I saw the comments, and then I went to the timestamp, and sure enough, I saw it. But for some reason, I did not when I was actually drafting. So, very unfortunate. But basically, always sort by the gem bus category first to see if there's a gem. Then sort by potential. And then pin players. So... Yeah, you can categorize them ellipses. And for some reason, there wasn't a read more option. So I'm not sure what happened there, but I get it. Okay. Reggie, quick tip while resigning to view all contracts that are expiring, you can hold down right trigger and just filter by it. Thank you. That is a great piece of advice. I honestly did not know that. Competition matters, but not as much as I think you think it does. Crazy Boys Gaming. Yeah, so I remember someone told me about it and I thought it was like the be all end all, but apparently that's not the case. So anyway. Yeah, we got free agency here. I'm not sure what we should do. I really didn't see too many comments about it. I know for sure I want to get a goalie, so that is not even up for debate. I want to try and get a tender here for sure. I was debating on getting Kemper, but I might actually go after Corpy Solo, who is 28, 5.2. But I'm also debating on Kemper because he is less expensive. He only wants a two-year deal, which takes him till he's 34, so he really won't drop off too much, if at all. Maybe one overall, so... I'm probably going to go after Kemper here and just hope for the best. No other teams are interested at this point in time, so it's good for us. And let's go to all skaters, and then I want to go to UFA. Sort by overall, yes. So I want to get Forsberg, but that $9 million deal is just a little insane, wouldn't you say? I mean, he would be great to play on that first line, the two-way forward. He's also got... You know, three and a half star defense, which isn't great, but it's also not bad. Five star puck skills, four and a half shooting, three and a half physical. I mean, he is a, he's a great guy. And as you see in the top right corner there, drafted by the Washington Capitals. Worst trade the Caps ever made. Martin E. Rat, where are you, bud? Okay, so yeah, we do kind of need forwards here, but we also need defense. I'm going to... Hope that Kemper could kind of bail us out on the defensive end. And I am going to try going after Forsberg here. 9.1 is a lot. But again, if we absolutely need to, we can, you know, it's a movable contract, I would say. He's not going to drop off that much. So let's keep advancing a day here. Hopefully we get these guys. If not, we're going to have to try and get some backup plans. But we do got some depth. Okay, we got Forsberg. We got Kemper. Beautiful. So now what I actually want to do, he got 71 points last year. Great. Gonna go to contracts and how much space do we have left? Six million. So immediately what I'm gonna do is uh wants extension. So yes, a lot of players here want an extension. So Duran wants one. He's 83 overall for some reason, and he wants 8.9 million. Pardon me? Alright, well you can wait, Chief. Make him 4.5 right now. Goss Despair wants 6.7. Oh boy. This could be tough. Lekkanen making under a mil right now. Wants a mil. That's... Thank you. Thank you for being reasonable. These two are just insane. Uh, What about goalies? Yeah, we could... Sure. Why not? Let's try to get Stewie back here for two years at 800k. There you go. That is certainly doable. Part of me wants to re-sign Drew Part of me wants to trade him. I actually don't know what to do. We'll keep him for now. But at the deadline, maybe we'll move him. You know what? No, I, I don't want to sign him yet. Maybe his his want will go down a little bit here uh, once we actually get into it. So I'm going to sim up to the next season. I'm also going to take a quick drink of my water. And then let's put these lines together once more and see what happens. All right. We got a pretty decent team here. I feel like I've said that years before and hasn't really turned out wait we've only 
this has been two years, right? It hasn't only been one. Uh, it's definitely been two. Either way, Caulfield really took a big leap last year, which is massive for us. That is tremendous. And he's going to be on the first line. He's going to be our first line sniper. Druen's probably going to be on the second line. Yoel Armia dropped down to like 78 overall. I don't know how or when that happened, but regardless, it did. And we got to try and discover what to do about that whole situation. But regardless, let's go to edit lines and put them together. Caulfield up to 88 overall. Great stuff. He's a plus one here. What if I move Suzuki up? That's still plus one, so not too much of a difference there. Oh my gosh, am I going to play Druen on the third line? I, I don't know if I have a choice. We have too many damn snipers on this team, man. We got Tatar as a sniper. Druen's a sniper. Toffoli's a sniper. Caulfield is now a sniper as well. He's not going nowhere, though. He is staying for sure. Okay, so there's a plus three. Gallagher... Uh, I want to try and make it this line work, but I can't move Druen down. Oh! Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I will be doing that. Okay, that is a plus five. What if I move Suzuki up? That makes that a plus three. And that would be a plus three. Okay, well, that's staying. I'm definitely keeping the plus five. Super ideal if I could somehow get... Ooh. Who has the best face-offs here? I'll do it. I'll be a mad lad. Okay, Tatar, congratulations. You're a centerman now. There it is. Sherwood. Got 65 face-offs. Yeah, there you go. Flozak's got to have at least 75, 83. Holy crap. Exceeding expectations. Tyler Flozak, ladies and gentlemen. On defense, Byram and Gosses Bear plus three. Uh, what can we do here? Anything? No, not much. Do we have any scratched defensemen? We have Wayne Train. Oh my gosh, I gotta plug him in the lineup somewhere. Corey Perry is just... No. I'm sorry, dude. Who is on our offense right now? We could trade someone, but... I don't know who we'd get rid of. Like, Toffoli could go, perhaps. And we could plug in Wayne Train. Let's see what happens if we do that. Wayne Simmons. Boom. Power forward. Get in there. Plus one. Toffoli, you're gone. Okay. I like it. I really like it. Uh, let's go to roster moves and just see who we have in the system. See if there's any defense we should maybe call up in exchange. Oh, Jake Evans is 80 overall too. We got too many damn players. Skinner's 83 overall. And we've got... Huh. He's a backup though. Who has the better potential? So, Primo is the age of 23. He's got medium starter. And then Skinner's got medium starter as well. Also listed as a backup. And he's 23. Alright, Skinner, you're coming up. Caden Primo, I'm sorry, dude. But life isn't fair. It's just the way it goes. Yep. Okay, we got a good goaltender tandem there. And on defense, anyone in the system? Brooke, what about you? He's a minor top two defender. Medium top four. He's only 23. Josh Brooke. Get up here, bud. Yeah. I'm calling this guy up. I'm doing it. And I won't send anyone down just yet. Uh, maybe I have to. <laughs> I think I have to. So, Sherratt, maybe? Should Sherratt go? Oh, those stats are awful. He's good, you know, physically. But the rest, not so great. Victor Mete, also not great. Well, oh well. Let's try this. Sure, confirm. And go to edit lines. Edit lines. Hopefully none of our chemistry changed. I know this game likes to do that for some reason. So defense. We're going to plug in. Brooke. There you go. Substitute in all lines. Oh, that's awesome. I love that for me. All right, Edmondson, congrats. You're demoted. And Brooke is up there with Flurry. I think... Okay, yeah, I'm fine with that. And then if we go to goalies, we got to plug in Skinner. There you go. Perfect. Okay, let's check out some specialty teams here. That's plus one and then plus three. It's fine with me. Uh, Four-man power play. Uh, I'll take zero. I don't really care. I'm not that concerned about it. It's not going to happen too often. Oh. Okay. And then what can I do here? Can I plug someone in here that makes this work? Because I'll take a plus three 
for the penalty kill. That's huge. What about Josh Anderson? Is he already here somewhere? He is not. Okay, let's try it out. Change in current line. Yikes. Okay, that doesn't work. We've got to find someone here. Wayne Train? Wayne Train, perhaps? Oh! Uh, I don't think Kakanyemi should really be... What about Flozak? Change in current line. That works. Okay, I'll take that. Kakanyemi, focus on offense, all right? And then... Wow. Okay. Kakanyemi can be here, though. So, let's change in current line. Oh, what the heck? Why? I'm so confused right now. Why is this a thing? Oh, this is the PK. This is the PK. I just realized it's three people, so it has to be the penalty kill. <laughs> Change in current line. Hmm, what can we do? That does not do anything. Brooke, what if we... Hmm. Is there any other defense here that we can potentially plop in? We have Byram, Flurry, and Edmondson. So, we could put Goss to spare, but he's an offensive defenseman. What about Victor Mete? Sure. Try him out. Uh, That's zero. Our three-man PK2 probably won't even go out that much, so I'll, that's fine, I suppose. Okay. Good enough for me. Extras. Four on four. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Cool. Gosses Bear is a shooter. Yes, sir. It's fine with me. Okay. I think we're good. We got plus one, plus five, plus one, plus one. And then plus three, plus one, zero, zero. I need to... Uh, back to edit lines. Okay, this is the Rockets. So let's best line them as well. There you go. Is there anyone we need to give more time? Holloway, Evans, and Armia. Why is... What happened to this guy? Why is he dead? What's his contract? 2.5? Okay. I'm not that concerned about it then. But still, it's pretty bad. Uh... Who needs minutes here? Who is young and has potential? We've got Paling that meets that criteria, so he can go there. Holloway for sure. We need to get him minutes. Uh, Evans is 26, so he is, yeah, he's going to be a good depth centerman if we end up needing him for sure. Armia, okay. Yeah, it's all good. On defense, ooh. If only that didn't make the other one a minus one. If it was zero, 100% would have did it. But unfortunately, did not work out. Okay. Scratched. Who do we got? Nesterov. This is the medium top four guy. Now, I think I'm going to plug him in. I think I'm going to do it. Plug and play. I might just have to do it. This guy is 20 years of age. Medium top six. 65 overall. Yeah, I think you can sit this one out. So here we go. Nesterov is now in. There's nothing I can really do to change the chemistry here. So, ooh. Oh, just demoting Sherratt that much. That hurts. Uh, okay. Okay. Sure, let's try that. It's, it's the AHL, so let's try to get Nesterov as many minutes as possible. And also, while we're at it, is there anybody else we need to put in here? Did we draft this guy? I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah. 2020 second overall. Okay. So I'll try to put him in as well. Anyone else here that needs to go in? 30. So no. Yeah. That's our guy. I'm going to try getting in there. Hillis. 22. Medium top nine. Eh. Uh, we got medium top six here in Yolonen. So I might try to get him in there too. More medium top six. And then we also got a medium top six here. So I'm definitely putting you in the lineup. So there you go. Will you fit anywhere that gets good chemistry? Oh, but I don't want to take out Paling. I could take out Houdon. Oh, yeah. Houdon, I thought he was younger. So we're good there then. All right, that's fine. And no, I can't really make that work. So whatever. Okay. Anybody else need to come out? I think we needed one more spot, right? Yeah, Yelonen's got to go in there. So, yes. Put him in. And he gets plus one there. Low top nine. I'll definitely take the medium top six with the plus one there. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Goalies. Caden Primo. And medium starter. 
Nick Malik. This is another guy we drafted in the second round in 2020. Good stuff. And do we have Goche as well? Fringe start? Okay, so no. All right, we're good. We are minty fresh. It's great that our AHL team has some players here that will certainly be in our future lineup. Now the question becomes, what do I trade Tyler Toffoli for? Do I try setting him back to Vancouver? No, I don't. But we do got to ship him off somewhere. So skaters matching the block. Take another drink of water here. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this guy. We don't even have him under contract yet. Medium elite, minor top six. Okay, I'm, I'm signing him right now. He's going in the AHL. We'll take someone out. I don't care. But uh, yeah, I'm putting him in right now. Because he's going to be good to go soon. Okay. Uh, there was Who was I looking for? It was Toffoli. He's a right winger. Probably not. Oh, he is on the... Okay. So, who can we get in return? I don't really want anyone. I kind of want draft picks right now. Because our team is just well-rounded. So we could probably try to get, I don't know, a second rounder or something. Markstrom, eh? No, we don't need goalies either. That's the thing. Our team is good. <laughs> like, we are we are good. What if I try to move up a first almost, you know? I could try that. They want to get rid of their draft picks. They don't want to get rid of their first, though. Does somebody want to get rid of their first? Let's find out. Second rounder... Delandria, third, fourth, no first, though. Really? Not one team has their first on the block. Huh. Okay, well, let's just keep him benched for now. Hope he doesn't decrease in overall too much. Because that way we can, you know, kind of make it work. But, okay, like, do the Capitals want him? They don't. Vancouver wants him. Let's see if we can just try to make something here. Oh, yeah, the cap. Didn't think of that. Okay, let's find a team that wants them and has the cap for this guy. Seattle. Oh, yeah, they have tons. So, their first... Oh, never mind. Not a prime candidate. What about the St. Louis Blues? Oh, my word. All right, never mind. it has got to be someone here. Uh, They don't have the cap. They don't have the cap. Mm, it's close. They might. The value on that pick is just absurd. That will not go through. Uh, we're freeing up $4 million of cap here too, though, which is huge. So if I could maybe add in a third. To fully in a third for a second. And accepted. Okay. All right. Sorry, guys. Sorry for your morale and all, but had to be done. He was just going to be sitting, and we don't want that. So without further ado, let's actually get this simulation underway. I'm going to try getting up to the deadline. And then we can make some calls in the next video if we should go after anyone. And check out maybe who's on the block. So let's get this party underway. Montreal Canadiens, year number, I don't know. I want to say three, but I could be horribly wrong. I could be so horribly wrong. Actually, there's some NHL going on right now. What's happening in the NHL right now? Who's winning? Who's losing? Okay, salary cap compliance. We are good there. We're 6-0 in the preseason. So, or 7-0, naturally. I don't know why I couldn't say that. They just would not come out. Naturally. That means we're going to suck in the season now. So, let's just see. Hopefully not, but more likely. Wow. The Oilers are beating the Senators 3-1 to right now. But get this. Dreisaitl and McDavid do not have a single point. It's fascinating stuff. It really is. Detroit is losing 2-1 to the Panthers right now. Huberdo has a point. Love to see it. That's my boy. Huberdo is a steal for me every year in fantasy. Carolina Hurricanes have fired their coach, Nathaniel Woolley. Sorry to hear, but clearly it wasn't working out. You'll find a job somewhere else, dude. 5-3-1. Keep it going here. Ottawa Senators... That's another win, 2-1. Okay. I do really like how our team looks this year. I know I said that in previous years, but I feel like we actually have the it factor this year. I don't know if that's even the right thing to say, but it, you can't really put your finger on it, you know? But I do feel like we have that it factor. Our AHL team 
probably going to do very good as well. And that is really going to help out Dylan Holloway. And we have other prospects down there like Yelonen. Oh, I forgot to put in Lambos. Crap. Okay, give me one sec. I'm going to go do that right now. 10-7-2. Uh, and two. Yee. All right, we still got tons of season left. 21 points in 19 games for Suzuki. That's good. That is great. What is everyone else doing here? Co Whoa! What the heck? What's going on? Okay, well... Something's gotta change. Okay, that's still a plus five. So... I'm gonna try that. Druen's getting promoted to the first line. Forsberg's left wing slash right wing. So I'm gonna move him over. And then Anderson, Suzuki, and Caulfield. Plus five. Yeah, you guys gotta figure that out. You really do. Holy smokes. Okay, well, good luck. <laughs> that's that's bad. But it's still young. The season, I mean, of course. And, well, I mean, technically Caulfield's still young, but it's a human being, not an it. <laughs> okay, so I love how I said it's a human being. Oh my, I'm just digging a deeper hole here. Okay, regardless, I came here to do one thing, and I can't, oh yeah, contracts, okay. Lambos, coming to the team. So, in the system, and we need to find unsigned. Probably all the way down here somewhere. I think I saw his name. Lambos. There he is. 74. Yeah. Getting him under a contract right now. Join the team. Oh, he actually joined instantly. Okay. That's good stuff. Edit the lines. Wait, sh can I even plug him into the AHL, actually? Is that possible because of his age? I'm not sure. Well, we're going to try it. Regardless. So, uh, Joachim Ryan. Who do we have here? Great. Great. Can't even put him in the AHL. I am dumb. This isn't news to you guys, probably. But it's out there. Okay, well, ooh, that plus three, though. Uh, hmm. What's his medium top four? I'm giving him the plus three. These guys can suffer. I don't care. All right, cool. And then, yeah, let's actually check out. How's our AHL team doing so far? Caden Primo, 82 overall. Skinner dropped 82 overall as well. I don't know what the hell's going on. So you know what? You know what? Screw it. Skinner, you want to drop an overall? That... Oh, I'm so confused. I'm like, why is this line not plus five anymore? What the actual hell? But never mind. Okay, goalies. Uh, let's go to roster moves. And we're doing it. All right? Unless... Oh, kind of forgot waivers are a thing. Well, perhaps never mind then. He's on a one-way. Yeah, never mind. I don't know. It says waiver eligible. I don't know if one-way or two-way deals actually make a difference for that. I've got told that it doesn't, apparently. But I always thought it did. But I could be completely wrong. Anyway, we adjusted our lines a little bit. Caulfield's now on the second line with a plus five. Druand has moved up to the first line. Hopefully, that can have a positive effect here for the Canadians. 10-7-2 is still not bad. Okay, 10-8-2. Now you're crossing a line. <laughs> oh, man. It's going to do it to me again, isn't it? It's going to do it to me again. Yep, let's just keep the losses coming. I think we have a good team, and then we just do not. Roster management. Okay. Keep the simulation going. Yep, 11-11-2. We're not going to make the playoffs. I hate this. I hate this game mode. I hate this team. I want to trade everyone. Unless we start stringing together some wins here. <laughs> Shootout loss, I'll take that. Just avoid regulation, please and thank you. There's an L. Like, where where do we suck? Where do we suck? Why? I just don't get it. I simply do not understand why we suck so much. Do we have Sidney Crosby on our team? No. But our team is still damn good, if you ask me. I mean, we have great depth. We got youth talent to snipe the puck Caulfield I'm looking at you we got a pretty good goalie as well I don't know I feel like every time I record one of these I just end up angry because <laughs> I always get my hopes up and I'm like yeah this team's gonna be sick look at it we got a plus five in here our team looks all right and then we suck you know what should I maybe fire the coach I think the coach is the problem never mind we're winning a couple games here never mind coach I didn't say anything 
I didn't say anything. Just keep doing you. Here we go. All right. Simulation engine. I love when it does this, but we are going to plummet back down very soon. That's usually how it works. It's a streaky simulation engine for the most part. But uh, it's kind of working in our favor right now. Hopefully we don't just fall right back down to Earth. Okay? Keep floating in space, please and thanks. Whatever you do, do not take off your astronaut suit. Okay? Or, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. But it's uh, a metaphor I'm trying to make up and not working. <laughs> We got 28, 20, and 7 now. Keep it going here. Coming in the deadline. We are currently not in a playoff spot. Uh, not even in a wild card spot. Oh, yeah. There's two L's in a row. Two L's in a row, baby. Two dubs in a row, though, as well. We're kind of inching our way back up. It is a close division. Oh, man. There's a win. And there's a win. 32, 23, and 7. Ha <sighs> what to do? What to do? Okay, well, first of all, oh yeah, Caulfield, let's go. Let's go. Putting him on the second line, great idea, <laughs> apparently. I want to view our coaching staff. And this is the guy we hired. What's his fit? He has, oh, he's 98, 99, and 29. 49 point, you stink. 67% fit. Alright, well, let's go check out other head coaches. Um, view staff. Hire staff. Yes. Is there any other coaches here that, you know, fit our mold? NHL head coaches. There's not very many on the market. Uh, oh, this is the guy that just got fired. Maybe I'll hire you. Alright, 52% fit. 61. 61. 64. Uh, 67. Okay, 62. Mark Chang. Balanced. Work best with balanced players, but can work with players who have strong performance. Okay, well, who was the, this guy's offense? So he really makes Juen happy, but apparently that does not make Caulfield happy. That surprises me. That really surprises me. Huh. I don't think the coach is the problem here. I don't think the coach is the issue. Uh, I'm going to keep him for now. But uh, let's look at our other coaching staff real quick. Head coach doesn't seem to be a problem. Griffith. He is the associate coach. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, I'm pressing the wrong damn ones here. Holy crap. Yeah, there you go. And... Oh, because he's an associate, he doesn't really have a fit. Great. Grumant Morris, our assistant coach. Not good. Really not good. He's a C minus. Our goalie coach is a D minus. Yikes. Alright, is there a better assistant coach out there? Let's go. View or sorry. You know what I can do, maybe? Hire staff. I can go to coaches. NHL assistant coach. Aha. So, C. Wow. These guys all suck. What's that all about? What if I hire a head coach as the assistant coach? Would that work? I mean, we're very close to budget. But, this guy that's a B and also has a great fit, only wants one million. So, I'm going to hire him as an assistant coach. Add that. Offer a contract. And let's try to fire our current assistant coach. I don't even know if he's bad. I'm just kind of making stuff up at this point. But I'll have, if there's an excuse, I'm going to take it. Grimmett Morris, assistant coach. I want to... Fire this coach will cost you zero bucks. Yeah, sounds like a deal to me. He gone. Okay, so hopefully we get that other coach. That would be fire. And... Let's check out all the stats right now. So, Caulfield's doing well. 59 points. He's back up to 87 overall. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Putting him on the second line clearly worked. We are currently fifth in the Atlantic. 71 points. Detroit's right there with us. So are the Bruins. So This is a close division. 
Actually, we're kind of close even to the Senators. Tampa Bay, seven points away, but it's definitely not out of reach. Let's say that. You know, we're right there. We're kind of in the midst of things. So certainly could make the playoffs this year. And then anything could happen at that point. In fact, I think we should make the playoffs this year. Okay, well, let's check out our individual stats. Uh, yep, I need you guys, my uh, analytic team over here, to see what's going on. So he's a plus 15, Juren's a minus 7, Forsberg and Kock and Yemi, minus 10 to minus 13. Wow, that first line is not working. At all. Our second line's working wonders, though. Should I try moving, like, Gallagher up to the first line? Perhaps. That might be an option. Uh, I don't know. I need your guys' input on that. But yeah, Caulfield has 244 shots. No wonder this guy is scoring goals. 15.2 shooting percentage. Five game-winning goals. Eight power play goals. Holy crap. Guy's nasty. 17.46 TOI. Gostas Bears at 23.11. He's putting in bare minutes. Okay. So yeah, that that's working. Gostas Bear is a plus 26. And he has 47 points. What a unit. I remember someone saying I shouldn't have got him. Hide it like them apples. Holy crap. He's an animal. Byram is always like seemingly irrelevant. I don't understand why this is happening, but... I mean, he's got 5-star puck skills. 5-star defense. He's only got 3-star shooting. Okay, so even though he is a 2-way defender... I think he's more of a defensive defenseman, honestly, based on those categories. But he's also a plus 26. So that's good stuff. Yeah, it's just something about that first line is not working. So maybe we should... Uh, do you guys think we should trade someone from the first line for a different first liner? Should we get rid of Druen? Maybe get rid of Forsberg right away? Get rid of Kakaniemi? I've seen him get good. Doesn't seem to be getting too good for us. I mean, he's 86, but yeah. Something's got to change there, so... Let me know what you guys think if I should try bringing up Gallagher or something. I really want to keep that second line, though, because they are buzzing. So, second line is off limits. Um, let's check out the goalies. So, Kemper. Uh, okay. Skinner's doing very well. Kemper. What's up, dude? Why, why do you suck? 23, 22, and 6. One shutout. A 900 and a 308. And then Stewie is 9-1-1 one, one with two shutouts and a 933. A 183! This guy's insane. Kemper, take some notes. Holy crap. Skinner's a freak of nature. This guy's unbelievable. That is amazing. Alright. Well then. Our our <laughs> starting goaltender seems to be part of the problem here. Um I I don't know, should I. Put him on waiver. Should we maybe trade our goalie that we just signed? I'll do it. I don't care about a bad reputation. <laughs> Expected the song to start playing. But yeah, I don't really care. Screw that. If he's not performing, I'll get rid of him. Okay, well, I need your guys' input on that for sure. So let's see who is. I think you can check who's on the block, right? Or um, who is going to be on the block. Is there a way to do that? I think trading block, browse trading block perhaps. I think this is the one. So let us see who is on the block here. Halak is on the block. Uh, Mojo is on the block. Same with Blake Coleman. Wow, they have a lot of good players on the block there. Uh, Dano, Philippe Dano. <laughs> Wonder where you got him from. He's on the block. All right, Boston. Nothing of interest to us there. Hank is on the block. Uh, ooh, medium elite. Genther is on the block. That is surprising. All right. Not that we really want to go after him because we kind of have a decent prospect pool. We got good young players. We're just trying to make it work now somehow. Chicago, nothing for us. No, nothing for us. Nope, not really. Jake Gardner. Oh, my. Klingberg. One year left. 88 overall, 30 years of age. I mean, his trade value is massive, so that would be giving up a lot to get him, but man, that'd be sick. Anthony Mantha. Wow. Yeah, 
I would I would love to pick up Anthony Mantha. That would be unbelievable. If we could get him on our first line, yeah, that would be insane. Him, Forsberg, together, and then we got to have someone in the middle. I mean, he's he's a power forward, and so is Forsberg, but look at that. Five-star shooting, okay? It's unbelievable. His discipline's kind of low, but, you know, it is what it is. How many penalty misses does he have, actually, so far? Uh, can we check all the stats? Let's go over to Pims. 34. It's nothing crazy. You know, it's not unbearable. Okay. So, yeah, Anthony Mantha is certainly an option. Connor Sheary, mm, no, no, probably not so much. Uh, okay, so Mantha. I, I need your guys' opinion on this again. So, I definitely want to know what you guys think. But, yeah, that is certainly a great option. Dezingle's on the block as well as Radulov. But I still think I'd prefer Mantha. If we can go after him. I also want you guys to tell me what you think we should trade for whoever we should go after. Obviously, I'm going to experiment with a few trades. But, yeah, we got Spurgeon and Dumba on the block here as well. And Suter. Okay. Islander is nothing really for us. Buknevich really dropped off. Holy. Georgiev's on the block. 85 overall. Wow. And, long yo, this guy becomes unreal. All the time. And he's on the block? All my career sims, Trevor Wong was like the most unbelievable player. Holy crap. Ryan Ellis on the block, but he's 32. And his trade value is through the roof, so I don't know about all that. I mean, Mantha's was pretty high, but it was doable, you know? Lindholm's on the block. PK. Damon Severson. There's a bunch of players there for New Jersey on the block. No, not so much. Weber, we could bring him back. Uh, Couturier. Oh, Couturier. But... Okay, well, if Strawberry Lipstick would get out of my damn way, I could see how many years are left. Six. Okay, I also could have just did that, probably. But we're going to forget that. Uh, okay, so Couturier would be crazy, but his trade value is also mad high. Uh, Malkin, he's 36, so I'm going to probably pass on that one. McCann wouldn't be bad, but we already have, you know, our guy in Kakanyemi, we think, anyway. We hope. And then St. Louis... Tori Krug. Yeah, but I don't know if we really need defensemen. Shen wouldn't be bad, but again, it uh, really depends because we have Kakanyemi. So it depends on what you guys think, if we should keep him or if we should give up on him. And then here's Toronto. Engvall is up to 83. Okay. Vancouver, nothing for us really. Golden Knights, no. Washington, not really. Winnipeg, nope. No, sir. All right. So, yeah, Mantha was definitely one of the better options, but there was a few good ones. And, yeah, I think we should maybe look into making a move for one of them because that would really change our lineup here. And hopefully, I just we need to change up that first line. I cannot believe how bad they're doing. That is craziness to me. So... Something's got to be done. All right. You guys have seen everyone that's on the block. You know our current situation. Hopefully, we get that coach. That will help as well. Our AHL team is 32, 22, and 8. So, they're actually not doing as good as I thought they would. Oh, my word. All right. Well, how's how's the individual stats down here, at least? Is Holloway doing well? 44 in 62. I'd say that's pretty good. 80 overall. 26 goals. Decent. Evans has 40 points. He's doing all right, 80 overall. We also got this guy that we put in, and he's doing pretty good as well, 73. Okay, you all are Mia's down there. What about the defensemen's? That's it. The defensemen's. We've got Sharat, Guli, Nesterov has eight points, 70 overall. I don't remember what we started at with him. I think it was 60 something. It was like high 60s, though. Guli hasn't really changed. Who was the other one? Did we, did we take out a defenseman by accident? Or no? I don't know. I'd have to go look. But I don't think we did. I don't. Did I do best lines and then screw everything up? Let's edit the lines real quick and just see. Well, no, because the other guys are still in there. So, no, I definitely did best lines at some point. Or no. No, I didn't. Oh, my gosh. I'm all over the place. I'm losing it here. Okay, I don't think I did. Defense. 
Uh, I guess not. I guess we're not forgetting anyone. It just is what it is. Uh, double check though. Scratched. More. Medium top six. 67 overall. 65. So no. Okay. Well, there it is, guys. You know who is on the block. You know what's going on with our team. Where our weak spot is. Goalie and <laughs> our first line. Strangely enough. Our defense seems to be doing okay. Our second line is doing unbelievable. Our depth seems to be doing all right. And, yeah, so we also could potentially... Uh, Drewen's contract, I think it would be prime time to get rid of Drewen, honestly. I think we should maybe just pull the plug, try to get him in a deal for Mantha, and maybe try trading Kemper for one of the other goaltenders who is not drastically underperforming. Okay? Well, that's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. Honestly, just comment like hi or something because apparently it's good for the YouTube algorithm. So if you could take two seconds to do that, that'd be unbelievable. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you soon.